like a gizmo to me. Cool. What colour do you want it? Not gold. If we make lots of gold ones, then everyone will have one and mine won't be special. All right, then. Let's go for blue. <laughs> Over a blue gizmo. Oi! What are you doing there? Waiting for you. Well, couldn't you have waited on your side of the fence? I could do you for trespassing, you know. Look. Why do I want to look at some smelly old machine? You're as bad as that lot, getting excited over a gizmo machine. Huh, I ask you. But that's the point. It's not just a gizmo machine. The 3D Nuvo Fangle Printer makes three-dimensional solid objects from a digital file. Nope, still don't get it. You don't have to get it, Beetle Bonce. It's like a photocopier that copies real things. OK, I get that. That's cool. It's very cool. Where did you get this? I found it under Henry's bed. He's been reading it at night. Has he now? I wonder what he's going to do with all those gizmos then. Oh, who cares? Think of all the things you could make with a 3D printer. Like? Ooh, the fairy cakes and pennies for the animal charity and number gnomes. Ooh, I get it. Tutus and tiaras and fussy boots and... <gasps> anyway, I just thought you should know. Well, thank you, Peter. We'll keep it to ourselves for the moment, shall we? Oh, all those boodle poodles! All mine! Can't believe you made all these overnight. Yep. And Brian reckons he can set it to print even faster. Can I trade three filibuster fizzies for one gizmo? Make it five and it's a deal. OK. I thought it was cash or nothing. This is the new barter economy, Henry. We'll take what we can get. OK, cool. Just don't make any more blue ones. Why not? Rarity value. You what? Can't have too many in the market, otherwise the price will go down. How do you know all this? I watch Business for Boys. Oh, yeah. Mum won't let me watch that either. It's so easy being me. I'm Margaret, I do appreciate you wanting to join in, but let's see what Henry has to say first, shall we? Of course, Miss Battleaxe. Well... Bert, do you have a view on this? Well, if I had to choose, I would say that... I would say that... I would say that it really depends on which way you look at it. I would say that it really depends on which way you look at it. Bravo, Bert! Did that make any sense? Yes, that made perfect sense! Everyone. Oh, that was totes amazing, Bertie Boo. I loved it and I could listen to it all over again. See? I loved it. Um, Miss Battleaxe? Oh, uh, oh, Jerry, me. Just um, uh, thinking deeply about what you said, Bert. Uh, very deeply, Bert. Thinking very deeply about it. There we go. Lunchtime already. Off you go now. Enjoy your meal and don't hurry back. I really wanted to hear what you had to say, Henry. Don't worry, Margaret. There's plenty of time to hear what I've got to say. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Henry. Plenty of time. No point batting your eyelids at him, Margaret. He's mine. <laughs> hear that, Henry? <laughs> yeah, I did. Come on, you two. We've got time for another quick game if we get through lunch quickly. But it's Three Veg Thursday today! Yep, can't hurry Three Veg Thursday. Ha! <laughs> Too right! Hi, 
Tyler, why? You know how much I love three veg Thursday. What? Most you? <laughs> Only joking, young Henry. Amazing! Incredible! You are a wonder. All right, Henry, stop being such a charmer and let's eat. Having fun over there, you two? Soraya was telling me about her favourite band. Oh, yeah? Who's that, then? Um, they're called T-Rex Tangerine Country, I think. And Gorinda was sharing her recipe for coconut burfi. Come on, guys. They were helping you with your homework, were they? Well, yes. <laughs> That's all right. It's cool to do your homework, right? Yeah, yeah right. right. It's so easy being me. I'm so my advice is, if in doubt... Henry? Hmm? Oh, yes. Thanks, Mum. Fluffy! Henry! She's your cat. No, she's not. Is. Meow. Isn't. Meow. Henry, I'll tell on you. Henry! Only joking. I said you crossed the line, Worm. What line? And don't call me Worm. There's the line, and you crossed it. <sighs> there. Is that better? Yeah. I'll make sure you stay there. Oh. All right, Henry. If that's how you want to play it. Good morning. Henry, time to wake up. You're going to be late for school. Oh, uh, good morning. Good morning, Henry. Good morning, Worm. Not so fast, Henry. You're stepping on my side of the bathroom. How am I supposed to go to the toilet? Oh, well, I suppose you can't. What do you mean I can't? Well, it looks as though it's on my side, so you can't. My toothbrush is on your side too. Oh, yes. Looks like it is. But, but... But what, Henry? But how am I going to get my toothbrush? Submit this paperwork in triplicate. Who to? To the Associate General, that's me, who will submit it to the Grand Master General, that's also me, who will consider your request. And how long will that take? Three days. Three days? And what about using the toilet? You are joking! Best you don't see this. It's so easy being me, I'm Here we go. Donald. Right. Donald. Not having a good day, Henry. Not really. You see, things keep going wrong. It's just not fair. First the washing machine, then the sock, then the rubbish bag, and now we've got to have lunch with... Oh, I didn't mean to be rude. Oh, that's OK, Henry. A girl's got to say what a girl's got to say. <laughs> 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 yeah, I guess you're right. Donald? In fact, they call me Dancing Donald. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Dancing Donald. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I always say, Henry? 
Who's that? Donald. Dancing Donald. <laughs> I always say that you're as happy as you make up your mind to be. Yeah. You what? If there is one thing that makes me happy, it's playing my air guitar. Cool. You play air guitar? Air guitar champion three years running. Shall we, Henry? We shall! Donald! <laughs> 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 Henry? Oh, uh, hello. Donald? Hello, Donald. Care to join us? Well, I... Come on, 
speak. Come on now, don't be shy, caller. Tell us your name. Um, my name is Clever Clive. Well, hello there, Clever Clive. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you. And welcome, second caller. Tell us your name, second caller. My name is Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe. Welcome, Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe. You're head to head with Clever Clive. It's a head to head. So? You didn't tell me it was a head to head. I don't tell you lots of things, Ralph. Now get on with it. So, callers, here are your questions. <sighs> and just to recap, Clever Clive and Margaret. Uh, oh. Ooh, this is so exciting! Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe. They're neck and neck. What do you have to say to that, Clever Clive? Cool. Uh -huh. I mean, cool. Hang on a minute. That sounds like. Hurry! Go away, worm! You're cheating! No, we're not! We're getting a little help from our friends! Your friends that ask us anything and we will tell you no lies.com. That's cheating, Henry! Hello, callers! Are you ready for the tiebreak? No! Did you say no, Clever Clive? No! Uh, uh, no! I mean, yes, ready for the tiebreak! Good! Then if you're sitting comfortably... No! Then I'll begin. Shh, Henry, I can't hear anything. Oh, might as well forget it, Ralph. What do the letters? I'm never going to know the answer. S-C. I never know anything. A-C-S stand for... Hey, I know this one! So, so do we. I mean I. OK, then. You both know how the tiebreaker works. I count down from three and the first correct answer wins. Three. It's so easy being me. I'm hard <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun. We all love the climbing frame. It's just for us. Yeah, just for us. Time to give up, Henry? Never! Then come and see what Brian's got in store for the enemy next, Lord High Majesty of the Purple Hand Gang! Your bait box? What are you going to do? Dance with them? Um, I've made just a few adjustments. 1,000 gigawatts of power, super subwoofer, bone-crushing bass and a treble range that only animals can hear. This is no ordinary beatbox. This is the 500 decibel sonic defense system. The Desi Sonic what? It goes all the way up to 11. Listen to this. This is brilliant. What? This is brilliant. I can't hear you. You are here because you've been arguing again. Yes, Miss Oddbod. And let me guess what you have been arguing about. Could it possibly have been who gets to go on the climbing frame? Yes, Miss Oddbod. Into my office now. She started it. It was all his fault. It's our climbing frame. No, it's not. It's ours. Listen. Is. shall decide who gets to go on the climbing frame and when. Huh? 
the rotor will go like this. Rotor? What rotor? This rotor. The girls will have Mondays and Wednesdays. Yay! And the boys will have Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> Way to go! Wait a minute. What about Fridays? <gasps> Today's Friday. got time for that now. You can carry on outside. There's always the weekend. 